I have lived in the suburbs of Washington, D.C. for a really, really long time. I love living here because there is so much stuff, so much culture, so much everything that you can do for free or almost free. So today let's go over all of my favorite frugal free, mostly free, all free, pretty much all free stuff that we love to do in Washington DC because when you're on a debt-free journey, it's all about the free. Hey guys, I am Wendy Valencia. Today I am collabing with Baby Steps Brad, who is a minimalist, frugal, vegan, following the Dave Ramsey. Like there's like four things. But I have been following him for a while and he has a great channel and he is one of the few guys in this space. So I'm gonna drop a link to his channel down below. There will also be a whole bunch of other collaborators down below. When you go over and check them out, tell them that Wendy Valencia sent you. So before I start telling you all the different places, if you're going to Washington DC, parking is important because parking can be really expensive. There are parking garages everywhere, but nobody wants to pay for them. So getting there early is key. If you're gonna be on the mall and a lot of these things are things to do on the mall, you need to get there super early, like by 10 o'clock in the morning, which really isn't that early in my world, but in the world of tourists, 10 o'clock is early. So you got to get there early and it's best if you park at either end of the mall because the mall is 1.9 miles long from the Capitol steps to the Lincoln Memorial and it's a long distance and most people try and park in the center. So if you park on either end, you can find a lot more stuff on the side street. So you get off the main drag and go off on some of the side streets and you can actually find street parking pretty easily. Easily if you're early but make sure you have good walking shoes because you're gonna have to walk and the other thing is food food is crazy expensive in Washington DC and if we're talking the museums on the mall not good not even a little bit but there are exceptions hello fry bread at the Museum of the American Indian delicious but for the most part all of the food in the cafeterias on the mall are gross. It is not good. Uh-uh, no way. And it is crazy expensive. In fact, I went recently to the Capitol with Melina's godmother and her family. And we spent, I think I spent $22 on a salad. Not even exaggerating. And it wasn't like a good salad. It was a salad bar salad, which was fine, but it was just lettuce and tomato and carrots. It was just a plain old salad. There was nothing wonderful about it. So you are allowed to bring food into the museums, but it's got to stay in its containers until you get to like a cafeteria. You are not allowed to eat anything or drink anything in any of the museums. And if you don't want to carry food around all day, you can go to there's about 10 bajillion food carts around the mall and you can go to those. Those aren't bad. They're a little bit cheaper, not significantly cheaper, but they're better than eating in the cafeteria. So here are my personal faves for fun, free slash frugal things to do in Washington, DC. Number one, my very, very, very favorite thing to do is the botanical gardens. It is right next to the Capitol and they have these amazing exhibits all the time and they're different exhibits all the time. And they're just lovely. Like at Christmas time, they put out a train set and it is completely free. And when it's cold in the winter time, it is really warm in there. My very favorite is the orchid exhibit. It is gorgeous. I mean, absolutely spectacular. Another one of my favorite things is the gem room at the Natural History Museum. This is where like the Hope Diamond and some of the crown jewels and some of the most amazing jewelry I've ever seen in my life is. That room is always super crowded, but it is totally worth the wait if you were a jewelry fanatic like I am. There are some just absolutely gorgeous pieces in there. Another one of my favorite things to do off the mall is to 
watch the planes land at National Airport. At National Airport, at the end of one of the runways, right across a little outlet of the Potomac River where it, a, a creek flows into the Potomac, there is a na like a national park and it's just flat and the planes come and land right over you and it is so loud and so fun and you can see everybody like reach up and try and touch the planes i mean they're you know 100 feet in the air but they're so close to you it's really cool my next two are taking a tour of the white house and a tour of the capitol now these you have to plan way in advance you actually have to write your representative and get tickets that way. The Capitol is much easier to get into. The White House, you have to get the tickets. The Capitol, you can actually just show up and go in. I've done it both ways, but it's the Capitol is a really, really just cool little tour. You gotta do the tour. And the White House, the White House is just cool to go in. It's not, you know, some amazing, spectacular tour where you're gonna see the president or anything, but it's just neat to say you've been in the White House. The next one is a favorite of Mauricio's and has been one of my favorites since I was a little kid, and that is the Air and Space Museum. There are two Air and Space Museums actually in the DC area. There's one down on the mall, and then there's one out by Dulles Airport. Both of them are very cool and very, very different. They're, I mean, really completely different. And I've actually been to like a fancy schmancy party at the one out by Dulles Airport. A really, really cool place to go. Another one of my favorite things to do is actually just walk around at the mall. And I am not talking about like the mall where you go shopping. I'm talking about, and I've used this term several times in this this video without ever explaining it, but everything from the Lincoln Memorial to the Capitol in between, that is called the National Mall. I don't know why, it is. Everybody knows it. If you say I'm going down to the mall, you usually mean that you're going down to Washington DC to that area. If you're going shopping, you say I'm going to Tyson's. Another one of my very, very, very favorite things to do is to walk the bike path on the Potomac River. I used to do this so much when I was living downtown. So very lovely being on the water. It's just really pretty. And then another thing to do is the National Cherry Blossom Festival. Now, we did this once recently and Mauricio won't let me ever do it again. He hates crowds. It gets so crowded. But the Cherry Blossoms downtown DC are gorgeous. I mean, truly, truly gorgeous. Melina's favorite place is probably the National Zoo. It's really cool and very free and it's a lot of fun. You just, you know, you can park nearby and walk in and just see everything. And then at Christmas time, they have zoo lights, which are lovely and also free, but oh my goodness, is it crowded. So I'll see you in the next one. See ya, we're out.